to attend to this morning, <coughs> except obviously to wrap up the convention, uh, and also if you're staying on for a few days, etc. And I want to wish you a good trip and an enjoyable <coughs> holiday. Uh, I just want to say a few words. Um, on April the 24th, 2004, I was absolutely exhausted because, believe it or not, I'd actually won the London Marathon the week before. And I now had the pleasure of meeting uh, and welcoming many UK sons of the desert to Dublin to attend a Ginnibug's tent meeting. Now, we all met up the night before and had a good time meeting them all and getting to know them. Uh, at one point, I heard in my right ear John Ola turning around to right. Harry yeah. Woods and saying, Have you told Liam your idea yet? <laughs> <laughs> and I kind of went, All right, okay. No, said Harry. And he immediately turned to me and he had that glint in his eye that I've since come to know just run away from. <laughs> at the time, I didn't realize that. And uh, he outlined this great plan he had that we should bring the European Convention to Dublin. Anyway, to cut a long story short, we went home after the weekend and we all had a firm plan in mind about the sort of convention we were going to run. And I'm absolutely delighted to say none of that actually happened. <laughs> <laughs> but we know. <laughs> Eric was absolutely correct when he told me I'd have plenty of help. And at this point, there's three names I have to bring up. Eric himself, John and Mandy. Uh, Without the three of them, we wouldn't be here. From the very start, they had lots of skill, effort, ideas, and the time that they spent on this convention and the trips to Dublin, all at their own expense. Uh, it was just fantastic. Thanks very much, guys. about the type of show that they wanted to put on on the Saturday night and you don't know how great it was just to be able to just sit there and not worry <laughs> even about one night when you're absolutely great. Eric, as you know, is just Eric, the, the complete package. <laughs> <laughs> if, if we hit a rough patch, it was his motivation that kept us going and I want to thank him for his time and for the two phrases that used to give me nightmares. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll all be fine. <laughs> and of course, the other one where, that's great, Liam, but there's just one more thing. <laughs> Thank you, John. Thank you. <laughs> to my own Jitterbugs tent members, I had lots of offers, and I mean lots of offers of help. I can't mention them all. Would just have to say a special word to Colin Howe for his help. I know he's not here this morning. Um, at the loan of his acoustic equipment, and he was just there when you needed him. So thanks, Colin. Now, collecting money can be quite time consuming and stressful, and thankfully for this convention, I had Eric's help. Eric collecting money from our UK friends. I also had the help of Matt Boone. Matt offered quite early on to accept money from delegates uh, oh. on the mainland, and I have to say, he always kept me up to date, and everything was very, very efficient, and again, one less thing to worry about. So Matt, thank you very much for your time. <laughs> Paul Allen. Uh, I want right. to say a big thanks to Paul who? for hosting our disco who? the other who? night. Who? 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 Paul who? Paul who? <laughs> who let him in? Is that right? right from the start, Paul offered to help, and it would have been very easy to sit back and just have fun, but Paul stepped up and helped, and Paul being Paul, I know he had fun anyway. Um, all our acts from Music Hall Night, thank you very much to you for being a part of this convention. To Trudy, who has always had to listen to me for the past yep. two years, well, the past 20 years, really, especially the last two years, going on about convention, convention, convention. <laughs> For putting up with me, listening to me, coming up with ideas. She also moaned at me, she gave out, she nagged, she did my ironing, she looked after the kids, and lots more. <laughs> very own um, card shark Steve O'Connor and added a nice touch I think to the proceedings and I want to thank him for uh, offering to host and hosting the Oliver Normal Hardy Poker Invitational. It was all his idea and even the prizes were donated by Steve at his own expense so thanks very much Steve. Thank you.
Daddy, what's up there? In the shrubbery. He's hiding. Stand up. See you later. When Jitterbugs was founded almost 10 years ago, a bloke came to one of our early meetings and sat down at the back and said very, very little. Over the years, he made himself a little more well-known and he offered to help and participate. Gradually, he began doing more and more, more and more and more, to a point where he now probably does more of the work than I do, <laughs> but he's still quite happy to stay in the background. This convention was full of his ideas and his organisation. His input is such we would not be here today without him. We liaised almost weekly with the hotel. He organised coaches, programmes, menus, goodie bags, maps, etc., 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 etc. Stephen O'Crowley. There is one official point of business, and it's the passing of the pineapple. Ah. Ooh. Our Belgian friends from the Me and My Pal tent in Belgium are here, and they have uh, bid to host the ninth European Convention in 2009. And I don't think we've any other bids in, so can I ask Mark the colleague to come down, please? Who? First of all, I'd like to thank Liam and his uh, Jitterbugs team for a wonderful convention. We had a great time. We certainly did. And uh, I don't know what I'm starting. <laughs> the convention in 2009. But you're all welcome to attend. And. Uh, we're going to do our best to make it a uh, wonderful convention like this one. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> and that, folks, is, is just about it. Eric, do you want to say anything, or John or Mandy? Well, I mean, I think we should all stand up and give Liam a big round of applause. Yeah. Yeah.